Good day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this scene in Blender and one of the tools we're going to be learning to use in Blender today is the screw modifier, also known as a lathe modifier. And this essentially allow us to make this object but only edit a few points and I think it's a really useful um, feature you can use on a lot of projects that will save you a lot of work and make editing really quick and easy so let's get started I'm gonna open up a new scene in Blender like um, this and then I'm gonna go ahead and press A to select everything and X and delete and like I always do I'm just gonna turn on my screencast keys so if you look to the left bo the bottom left here you'll see there is um, you can see whatever keys I am pressing so that'll be helpful so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press 5 and then 1 so to go into my front orthographic view and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, also press N and I'm going to go to down here where it says background images on my um, control panel so just bring that up by pressing N and I'm going to go here to background images tick that and I'm going to click this little thing here and it says here add image so I'm going to go add image I'm going to open and I'm going to go to my desktop this is where I stored my image and I'm just going to grab this image right here which is just a wine glass reference now, um, if you guys want a reference, all you have to simply do is just go into Google Images, type in wine glass, or just wine glass reference, and you'll get a ton of results. And pick whichever one you like. And I just grabbed this one, I thought it looked kind of um, cool. So I'm going to go ahead, I've loaded it in now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here, and here are where it says X. So I'm going to hold in Shift and then click on the X. And I'm going to pull this so I can center the Im image up a little bit. So you can see here that blue line over there. I just want this nice in the middle like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go add mesh. And I'm going to add a cube. And I'm going to press Z to go into my wireframe view. And then edit mode. And then I'm going to press Control R to add a loop cut here. And then Control and then just V by itself. So I'm going to press V. And it's going to cut it. And I'm going to pull this to the side. And then with that selected, Control L to select it. And then X delete vertices. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here, Control R, to loop, make a loop cut. And I'm going to go Shift D to shift duplicate it. Right click to let go. And then I, I'm sorry, Control I to um, select everything else. And then X delete. Sorry. Oh, wait, let me just do that again. So what I'm going to do, I, may, I messed up there. Um, we're going to go Control R to make a loop cut. And then you're going to go. Um, right click to let go and then shift duplicate and then right click to let go and then control I to select the inverse and then X and then lead vertices and now you're left with this um, thing here with the little um, pivot point in the center so if I go now to my front view and with the selected an object mode I'm gonna go to my modifiers panel and go add modifier and we're gonna add the screw modifier and now what you'll see here, if we go into edit mode, if um, we've got a solid object and it's only um, only things we need we need to work with are these points here. So if I pull this around, you can see it is making um, it's making duplicating that 360 degrees. So what I'm going to do now is go into my front view wireframe, and I'm going to take this guy here in edit mode, pull him up here. This one here, pull it to over there. And then this one here down to that point there. And then pull this one down as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and this one. I'm going to go W, subdivide, and over here in the number of cuts, I'm just going to make that about 9 for now. And I'm going to grab this one here and then move it here. This one, move it here. This one, move it here. This one in here. This one there. I'm going to take this one here. This one there one here and this one here and then I'm going to select this one and this one and then W subdivide and I'm going to add you know about four cuts and I'm going to take this one here Oops. actually enable proportional fall so I'm going to take this one here pull it down here take this one here this one over there this one down here and this one here and maybe subdivide it even more and it's pretty much just a process of subdividing and pulling these little points and what I'm also going to do now is um, with this uh, I'm just going to press control 2 and it's going to give it a subdivision of 2 and then I'm going to select this vertice here I'm going to go X delete that vertice 
And now what you'll see here is we have this really cool looking object. And all we had to do to make it was make these couple of points here. And the really nice way about um, reason, the really nice thing about doing it this way is that if you just use the cylinder, it makes it much harder to edit. But now that you have it like set up like this, all you have to do is here, it's come in here and pull a couple of points around and it's so fun and easy to do. And you can very quickly model any shape. You can make any glass or any cylindrical object um, even complex ones using this method and it's like if you're making a vase or something like that and it's just a really fun technique so I'm just gonna go down here subdivide maybe pull these two up a little bit like so yeah like that and there we have it and to add some sol uh, solid and uh, solid solidify it a little bit I'm gonna go into edit mode again grab this guy extrude it a little bit and we don't want to make it too thick the glass extrude this one to that point this one to this point this one to that point, this one there, this one there, and then it gets a little bit thicker as so it comes back to the bottom, like so. And there we have it. We have a really nice looking wine glass. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to go to my front orthographic view, and I'm going to go to here with the, in my control panel. Um, I'm going to go here with background images. I'm just going to get rid of that because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to select the glass. I'm going to pull it up to there so it rests on that red line, and then. I might even size it down a bit like so, bring it back onto there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add mesh a plane to the center and size it up. Go to my front orthographic view, I'm going to go add and add a camera. Press zero to go into numpad and then with the camera selected I'm going to press G, middle mouse wheel pull back and then G, Z and go up. And then I just rotate it on the X like so and maybe G middle mouse will pull back a bit until I have something like that and um, yeah that's looking pretty good so one thing I could also do is go add a lamp and add a sun lamp and go here G move it up here rotate it like so and then go to my top view and then rotate this and then G move it in here and then maybe go here to my own <coughs> panel and before I go further I just want to make this cycles render and then I'm going to go use node for the sun and we're going to make it a strength of three so if I go into my camera view now what I'm going to see is this and that's pretty cool so um, one more thing I could also do is um, just make a little a little scene so the studio here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the plane and um, select these two vertices go to my right orthographic view and extrude it like this, extrude it like so, like so, extrude it there, and maybe there as well, all the way up. So now we have a nice backdrop, and I'm going to enable smooth shading. So if I go into a camera view, I can size it on the X to fill in all the spaces. And then I'm going to go Control B, so it only renders within this box we make. Go to my render settings, and I'm just going to press crop here in my dimensions. So if I render it now, I can see it's only rendering within the camera. So um, what I can do is I'm just going to make mine GP um, so it renders faster and um, my dimensions I'm going to make 1280 by um, 720 and I'm going to go down to my samples or oh, I'll also make this 100% I'm going to go down to my sampling and I'm going to make um, the preview 130 and it's going to leave the render samples at the top to 120. So if I render now, we can see we have a nice lighting setup, we have a nice scene, and we're pretty much ready to start making materials. And we will edit the scene a little bit later, um, but for now, just um, we're just going to play around with the glass. I'm going to select the glass. With it selected, I'm going to go to my compositing. And uh, over here, I'm just going to press 0 to go into my numpad. I'm 0 on the numpad to go into my camera view. And I'm going to go here, click on this little materials tab, and then go new. And I'm going to call this glass. Sorry. Okay, I named it glass, and I'm going to get rid of my diffuse. So I'm going to press X, Shift A. I'm going to add a glass shadow, and I take the um, output and plug it into the surface. And if I render now, we can see we have glass. And um, a few of the things I could tweak here. Okay, make sure that's white all the way, and. Um, yeah, 
that's cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my default, go into my scene, and I'm just going to um, take the camera and zoom it in a little bit more, move it up like so. So I render. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, what else could I do? To get rid of those fireflies, I'm going to go to my light paths here in my render settings. And I'm going to make over here where it says filter glossy, I'm going to make that 7. And over up here where it says um, sampling, I'm going to make the clamp 4 at the top and 4 down the bottom. So it should remove a lot of that noise. Cool. And I'm also going to go to my world settings, use nodes, and I'm going to make it lighter. Maybe up here like so. Yep, something like that. And with the background, I'm going to select that, the plane. Give data material as well. Go new. Just call it plane. And I'm going to make this color orange like that. I think something like that looks good. Um, it's really up to you what color you want to make it. Um, I'm just doing this for demonstration. I think that's a nice color, so I'm just going to go with that. Maybe a bit darker. I like that. And I'm going to make this sun an area lamp. So I'm going to go area. And I'm going to increase the size up here to about something like that. And I'm going to increase, increase the strength to about 2600. So go in here right now. That looks pretty good. Maybe increase it a bit more. Yep. Something like that. I think that looks really good. And um, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is to make the scene a bit more interesting, I'm going to select my wine glass. I'm going to go Shift Duplicate, X, move it on the X. And then go into my right orthographic view, go to wireframe, and I'm going to rotate this guy like so. Move it down, rotate it, and place it on the ground like so. And then move it to the side, go to my camera view. I'm going to rotate it like so. Move it in here, G, move it back a bit. And shift duplicate in the X, rotate on the Z, maybe something like that. Move it on the X, rotate a bit more. This makes the scene a bit more um, interesting. Yeah, I think something like that looks really good. Um, yeah, that looks really arty and um, it looks appealing. It's appealing to look at, so. I think I'm going to go with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to quickly render this. So I'm going to go up here and press render and when it's done I'll show you what it looks like. And here we have it. It's um, done rendering now and um, mine took a little over a minute to render and I think um, if yours took longer, um, don't worry about it. It is um, it does it is normal for it to render, um, take for glass to take a while to render and I'm running mine on a pretty powerful um, graphics card so it's quite normal. So one more thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go here and go to my compositing and um, over here where it says, um, over here we're in a material setting. So I'm just going to go to my layers here, I'm going to click that and go use nodes and go backdrop. So if I go here, shift A and I add, and I just go search and I get a view, so a viewer node and I plug the image into there, we're going to see our image. So I'm going to go V to zoom out, I'm going to move this here. I'm just going to hold in shift and cut these two together. And I always like to add a lens distortion node. So I'm going to go here and it's going to get a lens distortion node. Put it in here. And I'm going to put this one to 0 0.02. And I'm going to make this one down here 0 0.02. And I'm going to go fit. So now it gives it a bit of a, um, a lens distortion and that looks much more realistic. So if I go here to my render result, we can see here our finished um, and composited scene. So if I go here, um, yep, I think that's applied it. Yeah, but anyway, this is it. This is the um, final image. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed. Please subscribe if you liked it and there'll be plenty more videos to come. So um, thank you.